Hi there, I'm Amanda Castor with Material Girl Quilts. Today I'm here to share with you a new quilt tutorial for the Jelly Filled Quilt. This quilt is made with uh, pre-cut two and a half inch strips or jelly rolls as some manufacturers call them. It's super easy and quick to put together so it's great for beginners or any quilter who would like a quick finish. So grab your favorite jelly roll and some sashing fabric and let's get started. The first thing we need to do is separate the 40 strips from your jelly roll into eight sets of five strips each. So you can mix them up, all of your prints and colors, or if you'd like to make it kind of a rainbow effect, you can put similar colors together. However you'd like to design your quilt um, is fine, but you need to separate them so that there are five strips per set and you'll have a total of eight strip sets. And then what we're going to do is sew those strip sets together like I've done here. Now, for pressing your strips, it really doesn't matter which direction you press the seams in these strip sets because there are no, since we have sashing between the blocks, there won't be any seams that we need to match up perfectly or nest. So if you want to press them open or all to one direction, it does not matter. I do think that it's helpful when sewing a number of long strips together to not always sew in the same direction when you're sewing the strips. So in other words, when I sewed my first two strips together, I started from this end and went to the, to the other end. Then when I sewed the third strip on, I sewed from the opposite end down. Um, just, it kind of helps so that your strip sets aren't wavy. Um, they can tend to do that sometimes when you're pressing and you've, and you've sewn them all in the same direction. It just helps keep your strip set nice and square. So now that we have all of our strip sets sewn, we're going to cut them into 10 and a half inch squares. And I'll show you a couple of options to get that done. My favorite method for cutting squares from my strip sets is to use a square ruler. But if you don't have a ruler that's at least 10 and a half inches square, you can use the lines on your cutting mat. And so to do that, you will start your, your line your strip set up and make sure that we're straight along one of the lines on your cutting mat. And then you will make sure that the selvage is beyond the zero line of your, of your cutting mat on the left hand side. And then you will cut off this excess selvage so that we have a nice straight edge at the zero line. And then you will just move over to the 10 and a half inch mark on your cutting mat and cut there. And there's our first 10 and a half inch square. Now, using your square ruler, this one is actually a 12 and a half inch ruler. Um, and I will, I will share links to the rulers that I've used in this video. But anything um, 12 and a half or smaller, we can cut from this ruler. So I will line up this ruler at the 10 and a half inch mark on the left side. And I also think it's helpful to line up the lines along your seams here within your strip set to make sure it's nice and straight. And we will cut the remaining, um, we'll cut three more blocks from this strip set. So from each strip set, you will cut a total of four 10 and a half inch blocks. And this is all of the scrap that's left. You will then lay out your blocks in six rows with five blocks per row, and you will alternate the direction of the strip of the strips within your block. And between each block in the rows, you will also add your sashing. So you will need a total of 24 two and a half inch by 10 and a half inch sashing strips to add to your rows. You will sew your rows together as shown, and then in between each row, you will add the sashing rows that will be pieced to measure two and a half inches by 58 inches. You'll finish off your quilt with the remaining two and a half inch strips that you'll use to piece your borders, and the finished quilt will measure 62 inches by 74 inches. Here are two layout options I was debating between to give you a little inspiration. You can either randomly piece your strips together so that all the colors are dispersed evenly throughout the quilt, or you can place them in like an ombre rainbow effect as shown in the other option. With this quilt finishing at 62 inches by 74 inches, it's a perfect throw size. 
or for the quilt that I made using these wonderful beachy fabrics, I think it's going to be a great beach blanket. If you make your own jelly filled quilt, I'd love to see it. Please tag me on social media at Material Girl Quilts and you can use the hashtag jelly filled quilt. Now I'm wearing, um, as you may have noticed, another quilt inspired t-shirt and this one has my radiance quilt pattern on it and you can purchase shirts as this in a sweatshirt or t-shirt option on my website materialgirlquilts.com and just look in the shop. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please make sure you click the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any tutorials going forward. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.